Yo, what's going on? RC Addiction. I'm back again with another video. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I just got a new toy last week. <clears throat> Traxxas X Max. Today I'm bringing it out with the Mini Max. Figured I would do a side by side. You know, use them both, beat them up a little bit, and see, you know, see the differences and see the similarities between the two. So, the Mini Max is basically just a scaled down version. So, there are going to be some similarities that way. And as you can see, it's a good comparison because X Max has the stock motor and the Hobby Wing Max 6. The Mini Max has the stock motor and the Hobby Wing Max 8. And that's, uh, yeah, Mini Max versus X Max. I will say one thing I do think the X Max is, uh, the body goes on a lot easier. <laughs> also, this is my first time using the X Max with the Max, the Hobby Wing ESC. I just put it in last night. So, I wasn't, I wasn't too impressed with the Traxxas ESC. Now, the Traxxas motor, on the other hand, I have no complaints about the Traxxas motors. It's just the ESCs that are no good. And that's just my opinion, my experiences. You know, I know some people out there are probably gonna say, oh, I have my Traxxas X-Max is still, uh, still running the stock ESC and I've been using it for a, for a year. You know, there's always gonna be different, different experiences, you know. You may have an X-Max with the Traxxas ESC and you beat the shit out of your thing and it lasts fine, it's going strong, blah, blah, blah. If that's the case for you, that's fucking awesome. My X-Max ESC didn't go bad. I just prevented it. I just take it out, you know, I don't allow it to happen. Cause I know it will for me. So why not upgrade? And I'm also, Sometimes I upgrade just for the hell of it, but I will say I um Last night I took the ESC off and I also Took the pinion off the motor it was just to check what the gearing was and it's stock So I wasn't sure it's eight an 18 tooth pinion, but I put the pinion back on And I don't know it just sounds different now it sounds it can't be the, the pinion wasn't set, uh, didn't mesh properly because if you know anything about the X Max system and the Max system, they use the pins. So it's kind of impossible. If you take the pinion off and put it right back on, it's kind of impossible to mess up the gear mesh because of those pins. I mean, not unless the pin broke, if both pins were broken, but then the motor would be moving around and stuff. I should have up. I should have upped the pinion size a couple teeth, maybe, because this is a, uh, you know, stock gearing 1854, which I guess it's fine for bashing, but I would like it just to have a little more top end. But then again, I don't know how the motor would handle it. The other upgrades that I'm doing is I have the Traxxas HD. Uh, control on and that's just because this Traxxas actually has a broken A-arm on the front so the lower left front A-arm the where the hinge pin gets captured the little uh, little tiniest piece of the A-arm is broken off so the hinge pin is exposed so that pin will come out slowly so I gotta keep an eye on that I have the Traxxas HD arms at home. I just can't install them yet because I'm waiting on a 25 millimeter wheel wrench that'll remove these damn wheel nuts. Because the X-Max, the stock tires are regular 17 millimeter. But if you want to use different tires other than the stock tires, 
Then you have to you you have to buy these like I'm using these hot racing wheel nuts which they're 24 25 millimeters because it fills in the space I guess on the on the between the hexes. So yeah, the wheel nuts are like 25 millimeters. I don't have a 25 millimeter socket. I ordered a 25 millimeter socket, but then I realized I don't have a damn socket wrench that'll fit that size bit. Someone would want to use two at the same time, but I actually, I guess not. Cause what if you have a friend with you and you want your friend to be able to use one of your other RCs, you know? But the X-Max is such a beast, man. It really is. It's such a beast. It's such an expensive beast. <laughs> but I would definitely recommend it, guys. And if you can't, if you can't afford it, or then go for the Mini Max. Mini Max is like literally half the price almost. But it's also half the size. I wouldn't say half the fun. That's not really true. They're both very fun. Or if you have a, if you have like a bunch of RC cars already, what you could do is make a trade. Go on, you know, Facebook Marketplace, offer up, find the next Max that you like, and then you know, see if they're willing to trade. That's the good thing about this hobby is a lot of people, oh, <laughs> a lot of people always, you know, looking to trade shit, so. Love it. I love it. All right. Now, let's switch it up. Time to switch to the Mini Max. Oh, that Max body has seen better days. It's actually not the not the body that I run. I just put it on now because of this video. I figured our matching bodies will look better. <laughs> I've been using the X Max pretty much exclusively for the past few days, like four days now, and I haven't used the Max in a in a few weeks. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fucking small. I forgot how small it was. I mean, it looks small, obviously, but using it, you can just tell. It handles so much differently. These tires, I have never used these tires on this Mini Max before either. These tires came off of uh, my E Revo. As far as gearing goes, I'm not sure what this Mini Max is running for gearing. I don't think it's stock. Dude, this thing, I have a different, um, this thing stairs so fucking nice. It's so nimble, like it's so easy to turn. But I do have a really good servo in here. And on the X-Max, I'm kinda, you're kinda stuck with the stock servo, I guess. I mean, I could try running different servos, but I haven't had to flip over the X-Max yet. Also, this uh, this Mini Max is not stock. You know, it has a lot of upgrades on it. Like a lot. It's got aluminum hub carriers, aluminum C, C hubs. It's got VG racing springs, GPM gold springs, I'm sorry. It's got the, a lot of hot racing stuff on it. I will say these tires are holding up pretty well. I didn't know if they would be a little too heavy for this Max, but it's not. I was worried about temps, motor temps, but it's actually pretty cold outside today, man. So that's probably helping keeping the temps down too. It's actually the first time I've been here on a cold morning, man. You could tell winter is coming. 
probably not gonna be too many people riding their bikes over here. It means I'll have this place all to myself. Excuse me. Guys, I'm fucking sinking over here. It's like muddy everywhere. It's a perfect day for a monster truck. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is what monster trucks are fucking made for. I'm not going to stand there anymore. It's pretty dangerous. When you can't see where the where the truck is gonna come in from. <laughs> this thing comes at you full actually if this came at you full speed in the air, you could probably just do some karate shit like you know? But if the X Max comes at you, you better fucking duck. <laughs> 